videos back. Really, I'm trying. Uh, Bacardo and Cam definitely inspired me. They've been dropping on YouTube. And I'm just like, I've been slacking for so long. Anyways, we're out here at Sarasota BMX. It's been rainy and windy all winter. And today's no different. More wind, more rain. But I got to get out here. I got to put in the work by myself. And yeah, if worse comes to worse, I can't ride the track. I'm going to still rip some gates but I got the leaf blower I'm gonna blow all these puddles off the track and I'm gonna get to riding and hopefully I stick with this and edit the video but anyways let's go most of you guys have seen the new the new sponsor hyper bicycles I debuted them two weeks ago and Sarasota for the national super stoked to be a part of such a legendary brand and to uh, kind of be the their BMX racing pro and yeah they've always been in racing they've took a few years off and we're back back better than ever I would say I know a lot of people are wondering what was what happened with the previous brand I was working with and nothing happened to them they're still an awesome awesome bicycle brand when you're pro this becomes more of a business than an actual hobby or a sport so for me I wanted to be somewhere where you know I can help design help develop and be more a part of the brand working setting up the pit team manager type of vibe so I'm super stoked with the new ride and it's gonna be a continuous build continuous project continuous all that throughout this whole year. I know many of you guys seen Nick Long in this jersey and that's just what they had in stock and it's what they gave me for these first few races. But we're gonna be working, new jerseys, new jerseys, new bikes, new products with Snafu. So be on the lookout and the best thing about it is it's gonna be all J Smooth approved. I hate saying that. I hate calling myself Jay Smooth. But they'll be Jeremy Smith approved nonetheless. every session since the national here the wind has been at that limit of where you can send it and it's sketchy but doable or you just play it safe and don't do it i've done both but today i'm riding by myself so i'm just gonna do 10 gates off the five meter play it safe keep working on that technique working on that drive because the gate start is one thing you'll never stop working on no matter how long you're racing or how competitive you are, and even more so if you're pro, I mean, the best of the best are always working on their game star, so that's what I'm gonna do today, and get out of here safe. Other than my phone falling over, gate one was a success. Sometimes my first two gates are some of my best gates and times of the day when I got the timers out, but I kissed that gate a little bit, so the timing was good. Everything felt good, other than the phone falling over, so let's go for gate number two. Good thing gate two didn't film, because I wheelied so much, I about looped out. Anyways, gate three, let's go. I ain't going in gate six anymore. My phone fell over before I even did that last gate, but I didn't know. It's just one of those days today. Rainy, waited for the wind or rain to stop. Windy, phone keeps falling over on the gate. Spun out of the gate about crash. 
It may not be one of those sessions where I like, yeah, I'm feeling great, I got better, but I'm here, I'm trying, I'm doing the work, putting in the work. It just happens. Watch the game. That's a wrap on the solo session. Rain's starting to come down and man, like I said, it was just one of those days and I did everything I could. I showed up, I worked as hard as I could and even though it was just one of those days, it's part of it. I'm not gonna lie, the whole session I was just thinking like, I'm gonna delete all these videos. I don't wanna post this stuff. Um, it's definitely not to the quality as what I imagine my YouTube videos being, but hey, you gotta start somewhere, and this is the best I can do for now, so that's what I'm gonna post. If anyone wants to move into the acre farm and be my personal filmer, um, leave a comment in the section below, but that's it for the first YouTube video back, and who knows how long. Uh, I'm on the road, so see you guys later.